So we've been covering here how the Biden administration has continued the Trump administration policy of blocking a lift on those vaccine patent protections. Of course, lifting that patent protection would help more of the vaccine to be produced at lower prices through generic um, versions of it. That would really go a long way to helping the uh, global South enable their vaccination campaign. So many of these countries haven't even gotten the first shot in the arm. So, so far, Biden hasn't done anything. Um, reports are that he's been torn. Some people in his administration are mm. basically buying the pharma line. Others um, are more on the activist side and saying, yeah, this is the right thing to do. Well, our friends over at the Gravel Institute reposted this clip of Joe Biden during his presidential campaign completely unequivocally backing the move to lift that patent protection. Let's take a listen to that. If the U.S. discovers a vaccine first, will you commit to sharing that technology with other countries? And will you ensure there are no patents to stand in the way of other countries and companies mass producing those life-saving vaccines? Absolutely, positively. This is the only humane thing in the world to do. This is the only humane thing in the world to do. He is 100% correct about that during the campaign. And so you ask yourself, well, what happens between when you're running for office and telling people what they want to hear and when you're actually in the position of power to make this happen? Again, it's the U.S. and other rich countries in Europe who are blocking this proposal at the World Trade Organization. Well, one thing that happens is you bring in a White House counselor with deep ties to the pharmaceutical industry, whose brother is actively lobbying on behalf of the pharmaceutical right. industry. Another thing that happens, you surround yourself with other people who have corporate interests at heart. You take meetings with CEOs and you end up with this like, gosh, suddenly it's not so clear. Suddenly I'm not sure if it's the right and humane thing to do when you had the clarity on it during his campaign. It's pretty amazing, that clip, because it's just like it's the right thing to do. He says it out. And I think Absolutely, they were asking positively. specifically about Very specific. COVID. And this situation, like I said, is developing and becoming a big problem for the United States. I mean, anti I said this yesterday, anti-American sentiment in India anecdotally is rising significantly. It's causing problems across the globe. I know yesterday, just yesterday, Pfizer is beginning to export doses to Mexico. But remember, Pfizer has that vaccine where you need deep freeze free in terms of uh, using a Pfizer vaccine in rural parts of the world. Forget about it. They just don't have the infrastructure to even deploy it. And that's why Johnson & Johnson, Moderna and others are actually so important. But really what it is, is about production and it's about scaling it to other parts of the world. This is where Johnson & Johnson will probably be the most effective. And it just goes to show where you still have a big problem on your hands. I mean, people are looking at, and you know, Australia, it tells its own citizens who are in India, they're like, you're not coming home, you have to stay. Uh, the US has banned travel from India. There's gonna be travel bans pretty much throughout the world. Europeans are only letting vaccinated Americans. In terms of getting global commerce back to like a fifth or to, you know whatever of where it was, this is a pretty essential move that's happening here. And the Biden team, I really, yeah, they're just, they're torn, right? It's like you said, they're torn and being pressed by the corporate interest right now.